Spaceflight Simulator 2 is almost here, so let's have a quick look at all the video and photos that have been released so far to give us a taste of what's to come. So just like everyone else, I'm kind of just sitting around waiting for Space Flight Simulator 2 to come out. Chilling and relaxing like this astronaut is while, uh, you know, the game is theoretically going to be out any moment now. And I decided let's talk about all the different pictures that have been released and what does that mean for the game. So we got our little astronaut here and he would really like to go to space and particularly to the moon. So we're going to build this rocket from all those spare parts and we're going to wait until the ideal point to launch the rocket and away we go. The graphics on this actually look pretty nice, even though we're just gonna be looking at some photos here for this part of the video. You can see here that, you know, this, this looks like an, a real rocket launch, <laughs> which is probably good because uh, Steph and team have gone to watch several of them at this point. So they have a pretty good idea what these things look like. And yes, this is gonna run on cell phones. Um, so it's gonna be interesting to see how that performs, but also PC and Mac. And we get up in space and I'm like, yeah, this actually looks really, really good. These pictures are some of the latest ones where he's gone and really improved how the terrain is done. And here we are flying over uh, Northern Canada and you can kind of see here that, yeah, it looks really good. And then, yeah, we're into our map view and you can see the triangles, which are now cones have returned as we uh, come up to this station. You can see a lot in this photo, so we're gonna take a second here to stop. Number one, we can see that there is a docking camera, which is like, yes, definitely in need. And we can also see you can have distance, the velocity, and then it shows the speed differential. So that's really good for uh, being able to dock successfully. Next, we have some uh, photos of our little tiny ship uh, reaching this uh, really cool station that's uh, been put up in orbit. And we can then say, wow, this looks really cool. And then we got out of the spaceship and uh, here we are going around in our little tiny astronaut in an EVA pack. And like overall, this is just pretty amazing. When you think of where Space Flight Simulator 1 was, Space Flight Simulator 2 is definitely really nice. But we didn't just come up to orbit, let's check out the moon. And here we are at the moon and uh, you can see here that the moon, just like Earth, looks 
absolutely amazing as we uh, basically get into a lower and lower orbit and then we have our little guy come out and uh, he's going to do a quick check of the landing gear and everything to make sure everything's good for our uh, landing attempt which I have no footage of so here we are suddenly landed on the moon out of gas but that's okay we are still going to explore the surface of the moon with our little astronaut as he runs jumps and basically checks out the phenomenal views oh and also apparently goes joyriding across with another friend that apparently came along for the ride that we never knew about okay i'm good with that but we're not done yet because now let's go to mars Now here's a really cool photo that I really like because not only are we clearly just over top of either Phobos or Deimos, but we can see here the Martian surface with Olympus Mon uh, being front and center, but also the three smaller, and I, I say smaller even though these volcanoes are massive, uh, the other three smaller uh, volcanoes on Mars, which gives you a pretty good idea how big these features actually are on the Martian surface uh, compared to the rest of the planet. Like I realize it's scaled down and stuff because it's a game, but like these volcanoes are no laughing matter. Anyway, this just looks cool. Let's uh, go down for a closer look. Okay, maybe not that close, but this is better. And this is what it originally looked like. And this is where a lot of our footage comes in. But Steph and his team have been really working hard to make an improvement. And you can see here that, yeah, this is a lot better now. So good job, Team Curiosity. So standard YouTube boilerplate, please like and subscribe and the link will be in the description if you want to check out this game on mobile, PC, uh, iOS, Android, all that good stuff. And uh, here we are landing safely on Earth, hopefully. Who knows?